This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Andrew wants to know at any point during your pro wrestling career, did you ever consider making another run for the Olympics? I did consider it in 2012. I mean, I was actually, I believe almost 40 years old. I think I was 40 and uh, it was just an outlandish idea because after I broke my neck several times in WLB, I had no upper body strength. I was pretty much full of myself. I went back to training. I took a break from TNA, did some training for a couple of months and realized I just couldn't do it. Uh, my body was not holding up and, uh, uh, my upper body strength was really weak. And I just knew that I wasn't capable of making the Olympic team. So I wasn't going to do it, but I didn't really take a serious approach. It was only a couple months training. And, you know, I just wanted to see how it would do. I was getting, um, you know, it was a point in my life where, you know, I was letting a lot of people down with the decisions I made. And I, wanted to go back to the Olympics. You know, it's one of those psycho psychology things where you want it to be, you know, 1996 again, because things were great. Right. And, uh, I think that's the reason why I tried to do it. That's pretty, uh, introspective of you to recognize that. Did you, did you ever meet with a sports psychologist or talk to anybody about that? I know that, um, we've heard a lot of guys in MMA and, and quote unquote, legitimate sports do that. I think Chael Sonnen is probably the most notable one who would have great success in his fights, but then he would get to the last round after dominating the entire fight and he would lose with the exact same maneuver over and over. So he started to go see a sports psychologist and I think it became more in fashion in MMA. Did you do something like that in your career ever? In my Olympic career? Yes, I did. I went to a sports psychologist because I wasn't able to beat a certain amount of individuals on the Olympic team in 1993 and 1994 for the world championship team. And I, I was, I hit a wall and I actually quit for a few months and thought, um, I can't beat these guys. So why even try? Wow. And, uh, so taking a few months off, I met a sports psychologist and he said, Hey, let me take care of you. I'll actually do it for free. So I started going there and he was giving me, you know, certain psychology tips about how to be more confident, how you can succeed in life. Uh, he was, um, you know, uh, what do you call it when you put the voodoo on you? Um, oh yeah. Uh, You're talking about where he would hypnotize hypnosis, uh, hypnotize me. Yeah. yeah. He hypnotized me and, uh, would, you know, have me speak during my hypnotism and wow, uh, it, it worked extremely well because when I made the commitment to come back in 1995 and 96, I was still seeing the sports psychologist and I continued on every week and I didn't lose a match then, uh, from there, that point on, I won the U S open, the, um, the world team trials, the world championships in 1995. And then I won the U S open, the Olympic, uh, trials and the Olympics in 2000 or 1996. So it worked extremely well. The crazy thing is I stopped after the Olympics, <laughs> never went back to him again. So I got a messed up mind now that I got to try to unravel. I need to go to another sports psychologist. No, I'm thinking, man, you got to go find that guy and write him a check. Hey, I pre <laughs> appreciate those free services. They paid off. Here you go. Oh, without a doubt. Yes. Uh, Fernando says if Kurt had the opportunity to induct anyone into the hall of fame, who would it be? Uh, I would say someone that followed me through amateur wrestling, like Brock Lesnar or Shelton Benjamin or team angle Shelton and Charlie, they would make a lot more sense. And, uh, I know that I can relate to them. So I'd be able to speak for them really well and, uh, be able to induct them in the hall of fame. But I think someone to that stature would be perfect for me. Uh, here's a weird one from Rory. Do you still shave your armpits? <laughs> uh, I don't shave my armpits, but my armpits do get hairy. They're not hairy right now. Cause I <laughs> clip them. I clip electric clipper. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know why if I shaved. I, I don't know if I could shave my armpits. I'd be tearing that shit up. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's so many random questions in here. I feel like we're getting to the end of this now that I'm <laughs> Boy, we just the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Michael wants to know when you were in the Olympics in 96, did you go watch any of the other events, uh, while you were, uh, at the Olympic village? 
we didn't really have time to, and with the bombing and everything, you weren't really allowed. They were trying to protect the athletes, but I, I met a lot of those uh, celebrities, you know, the Olympians, um, Carrie Strug, Dominique Dawes, uh, Dominique Marciano, uh, uh, the dream team. Uh, there, there were just a lot of great athletes just walking around Olympic village. It was a lot of fun to be around them. Uh, no trucker body says, what do you think of Gable Stevenson, Kyle Drake and the 2021 Olympic wrestling team? Well, it sucks for us because in 1996, we were the best USA wrestling team of all time. And we continue to be up until now, but this team is actually better. These guys, uh, you know, the, the world championships, I believe last year, I believe they came across, came, uh, came out with five or six medals out of seven weight classes. So these guys are primed and, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna dominate the Olympics. We have the best USA team wrestling team in, in the history of our, our country right now. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.